Hey friends, I want to do something a little different today and show you my favorite, very obscure Halloween tradition. So there's a Japanese website called Daily Portals that every year organizes what they call Mundane Halloween, where they get people to dress up as something super ordinary. And Twitter user Nick Kapoor put together a list and translated them because I don't speak Japanese. Thanks, Nick. So without further ado, let's have a look. First up, person who really likes the crunchy part of the corn dog. Delicious. Then we have guy sweating bullets because he's been asked to cut a pizza into four equal slices at a lunch with important business contacts he's never met with before. It looks tense. Also, I appreciate that he went with a margarita. Next up, student volunteer at a university's open campus day. She really captured the air of just not being super into the whole thing. How about person standing in line at the security checkpoint of an airport? Although I will contest she did not take her laptop out of the bag. We have person who foolishly ordered curry udon despite wearing white clothes. I'm more of a spaghetti man myself, but similar vibe. How about guy at karaoke surreptitiously trying to learn the next song in the queue? I appreciate the focus. The Red Bull really helps. Man who keeps getting mistaken for a store employee. In fairness, the name tag doesn't help. How about students who went to the cafe to study but ended up spending the whole time reading manga and looking at their phones? I love that they brought their own tables. Although I am a little concerned that their drinks are empty. The service is terrible. How about guy who just got back from the swimming pool? Although I think the hair should still be wet, that would help. Actor in an airline safety video. I appreciate that he's hitting the blue steel there. Ophelia from Shakespeare's Hamlet. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Or wedding photographer. This is a very expensive costume, look at that lens. I do want that little stool though. Part-time worker paid to brace the fence at the front of a live concert. They will keep Taylor Swift safe, I assure you. Or woman who only became a Hanshin Tigers fan to please her boyfriend. She looks super into it. Person who is stingy and only paid for the smallest plastic bag. Honestly, I admire the dedication of the plastic bag. I, I wonder if that's gonna hold out. Photo of your dad when he was your age. Ah, nostalgia. One of those really low ceilings in Ueno Station. I've never been to Ueno Station, but it appears they have really low ceilings. Who knew? One of those guys who conducts surveys on the street by asking people to place a sticker on a board. I mean, we're getting real niche now, but I'm here for it. Waitress who provides half-hearted service. The facial expression is what clinches this one for me. That one coworker who kindly fills the office humidifier with water every morning. Truly the backbone of the operation. Middle-aged office worker whose much younger boyfriend came to pick her up on his motorbike after work. This one feels almost a little personal. How about person whose sweater got caught on a doorknob? Oh, it's perfection. I kind of want to do this one tomorrow. Or some sort of cast member at a theme park. I like that it's very brand non-specific. Cow person. Guy who can't get the printer to print correctly no matter how hard he tries. That's not a costume, that's just existence. If you've ever been a grade school teacher, you know. Guy who takes pride in never holding the handholds on the subway. My god, that man is impossibly strong. Truly a hero among men. Lady at the tourist information desk. She's really captured the terrifying, piercing into your soul expression. And the grand finale and the winner in my books, referee at a tug of war competition. Because in this competition, everyone's a winner. And on that surreal note, happy Halloween, everyone. Take care of yourselves, folks.